seven of the world's best sports cappers, competing in Las Vegas Super Bowl weekend, placing 13 bets over three days to show who is the best sports capper in the ultimate sports betting cap off. Big bets and reputations on the line. Who will walk away with the title belt and the prestige to claim to be the world's best sports betting capper? This is Cappers TV. It's the third and final day of the Las Vegas Super Bowl cap off weekend, and the results so far are Average Joe at three points, Proven Winner at four points, Tijuana four and a half points, Icel Winners and King Cap are both at six and a half points, and the bookie killer Nicky Marino and Sally Picks are neck and neck at seven points. The rules for the Super Bowl Sunday is five plays must pick the spread where they wager on how many points a team will win or lose by, must pick over under where if you think the total at the end of the game will be over or under that total. None of the cappers have seen Nicky Marino since the disagreement at the sports book. As far as they know, he's dropped out of the competition. It's a big day and I'm ready to rock and roll. Woke up early. I already knew what my plays were going to be today, five days ago. You already put your plays in? Yes, sir. I got to put my plays in, dude. So, we got to do it. you know what? It should be seven points right now. Had a bad Friday yesterday, we went four and one. Friday's plays were all plus money, and they were all bad beats. I hate making excuses, but man, when I'm telling you they were bad beats, they were. And when you see this hole unfold, you will see why. But today, I'm sweeping the board. Let's go. Basically, I joined this cap off to show the world who TJ Raff is. I'm kind of a hidden gem out there, you know. I've been working at this for a lot of years, but a lot of people still do not know who I am. I specialize in soccer plays. I am also good in other sports. My college basketball plays are usually dogs. 98% of my college basketball plays are dogs with plus points. I rarely send a favorite. Guys, a real capper will not send you favorites every day. The business is full of cappers who send minus 200s, minus 300 parlays. Guys, you can make those bets on your own. Stop getting scammed. I'll tell you about the camera in my face when the fucking game's going on, man. Huh? Let's win this fucking bout. Let's go. <laughs> so uh, today's Super Bowl Sunday. This is uh, the day we all been waiting for, okay? It comes down to this day. And right now, I'm at the top of the leaderboard. I got seven points. I think we got King Cap at six or six and a half. We got I Sell Winners at six, and then the rest of the bums are down at the bottom. Plus 250 they gave me. I took that as disrespect from day one, and I came here for one reason, and one reason only, and that's to take the belt. And I found out in this competition, there's no friends. There's no friends in this business, okay? So when I win, I'm taking this belt back to New York, where it belongs, to the train team. This one's for the train team. So when I win this shit, not only am I gonna win the belt, I better win the fucking respect of all these people. All we gotta do is win today. Let's fucking go. While the cappers wait for their lunch to be made, some of them are upset that King Cap was given half a point, saying that it was against the rules to bet twice on one game. Give him the fucking half a point, bro. Yeah, well, the there. point was already there. He's got six and a half fucking points, dude. I'm just disappointed that's that it. you guys don't know the difference between a three and a three and a half. That's, that's it's really a different it's fucking play. It's, it's, it's disappointing. It's disappointing. That's super disappointing. That's super it, is, disappointing. it is two different plays. It went away two different plays. Super disappointing. He posted my three and a half at midnight that night. So that means that night, everybody at midnight bet that three and a half. Then the next morning, it goes to three. It's not like I said, hey, take my three and a half off and give it to so him three now. That, that so last night I could have took USC when it was at two and I took it again when it was at four. And that would have been the same thing though. For sure. I probably would have done that. I probably got pulled out. I would have been fine with it. I don't give a fuck. It's like Ronnie that day when he had a save here. This was supposed to be fucking for entertainment. I really don't give a shit. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Like I said, I don't I mean, care we about we both went 0 and 3, should have been 0 and 3, and we just said, you know what, fuck. I mean, it's bad day, we lost. Shit, shit happens. happens. You guys started this competition, competition by fucking me by not showing up at the resort rolls on time, so I could not post my Leipzig play. Was that not my play the whole day? That's that was to start the, t the competition with that Leipzig play. I couldn't even post it. I went 1 and 2 that day. Just fading you out of spite. And out of spite, though, bro. And, and it's a competition. I know, bro, but like. You won. Take it and run with it. 
On your page, say King Cow should have never paid me whatever the fuck I did. There you go, clearly. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. shit. Okay, so basically it's the final day of the competition. I'm honestly a little bit frustrated because I came into this competition having friends and then a lot of people have showed their true colors. Um, the biggest controversy we're having right now is I gave two soccer plays yesterday. City over three and a half at midnight, then I went down to three and I gave it again. Everyone's saying that I'm cheating and that's not legit when it's two separate lines. These guys are complete fucking jokes and amateurs. And uh, like I said, I came into this very peacefully and now I'm losing respect for a lot of people just because they don't understand how the business works. And uh, today's a big day. It's the Super Bowl. I mean, who knows how many points I really have. I believe I have 6.5 points. I'm going to clean sweep the board today. I'm going to take this belt and I'm going to slap him upside the fucking head with it. Isa Winters is the biggest excuse maker in the business. The guy's cocky as fuck and it just screams insecurity. Sally, the guy wins. He's doing live feeds, taking over the world. He loses. He's sitting in his room crying, smoking Newports and sipping on Dr. Peppers. I've lost a lot of respect for these guys in this competition. They're majority scrum bums and they're setting a bad idea of how this is really supposed to be done. I've been 100% focused and dedicated this entire competition. I haven't went out, I haven't been drinking, I've been focusing, and yesterday, all of my plays won before 10 o'clock a.m. I went to the Circa, I ruffled their feathers, and they fell right into my trap. Oh, I can't lose because you swayed my energy. Oh, you fucked me up. It's a competition, you dumb fucks. And if you can't handle some negative feedback or some people talking shit to you, you don't deserve to make money in this business or be considered one of the best. And that's why I did it. There's levels to this shit. I'm on a completely different level. And this competition is only showing everyone I'm on a totally different playing field than these dudes. Place four hundred thousand dollars on the fucking on the Super Bowl. Gotta do it. Confirm wager, baby. Fucking big four hundred thousand dollar bet. Let's fucking go. Super Bowl wagers going in, baby. Book it. I'm nervous. He's nervous. We're nervous. Who are you uh, betting on? Put four, we put 400,000 on the under. What does that mean? That means both teams combined have to go under 48 and a half points. I'm gonna show you guys the fucking room on Kingslip. Okay. Is it okay for you to be on the film? Hey, yeah, go ahead. Oh, what's your name? Gus. We don't lose. We don't lose our big bets. That's how it's fucking good. Day three, last day of the competition. I'm sitting in second place right now uh, with a record of five and three. Uh, should be seven and one. We have, I lost two brutal ways at uh, on the end of the games. Uh, all you guys seen it. All the clients seen it. Uh, should be seven and one. Uh, all these guys that I'm competing with, they all fear me. They all see it now. They all see who the best in, the, in, in this industry is, and it's not even close. None of these guys are professional. Everybody's fighting, arguing. Uh, making their own rules in the competition, uh, making up games that they, they said they won, they didn't win. Uh, just a lot of shenanigans going on that. Uh, just set, when you guys see this, it's gonna separate me from these bozos. Uh, half of them don't even have any money. Uh, we've, I've been paying for fucking six cappers, uh, most of them. One of them is the only one with money, and that's proven winner. Uh, it, it's, it's actually kind of kind of sad, uh, but. I'm not gonna let any of that energy uh, fuck with my energy because today is a big day for us. Uh, we are gonna be laying anywhere from two hundred to seven hundred thousand dollars on the Super Bowl. Uh, so be a part of the journey. Uh, about to go place a bet in about an hour or two, and uh, we already know what we're taking. So wish us luck. Going to Villa right now. It's like a fucking maze to get up there. Got a pool in the room. It's the biggest hotel room in this casino.
what? That missed extra point looked very suspicious, man. Perfect snap. This guy usually holds it perfectly, just drops it out of nowhere. You gotta question those things sometimes. A college basketball player that I knew, that I was at a party with, was handed a bag, designer bag one day. And it was just like it was yesterday when I remember that incident. Sitting there at the party, relaxing. I look across the room and I see this all go down. This gentleman walked up over to him. He was handed a luxury designer bag. I did not know the contents of the bag, but it was so smooth. There was a handoff. Nothing was said when this transaction occurred. There was just a simple handoff. But it got me intrigued and wondering what just went down. And what I know now after seven years of being in this business and more than 15 years of gambling, that it does not take much to fix a basketball game. All you have to have in your pocket is the point guard. The point guard is the quarterback. He's the one that brings the ball up court. He's the one that makes the passes. He's the one that calls the plays. Six years later, after I graduated from the university, a different player was actually arrested and put in jail for shaving points. They found text messages. They found emails. So I know for a fact that sports have been rigged, have been fixed, and are still being fixed to this day. Money on the game. Not yet. I'm, I'm gonna do it with him. They know they, whatever I have. That's what they bet. They know who the best sports better in the world. Yeah, so do we kind of like the spread? They win money all the time. The I give them all the plays. We give them money, money and then like we that. spend it. Exactly. Okay. They take. They spend. I made these so women like so much fucking money. Five players. points for this team at this. She bought a new ass with right? the money that she does. Go. The fucking the under baby. We're under the sheets. Under. We're fucking under the sheets. <laughs> Tonight. We made it Super Bowl Sunday. Really excited for this. I think I have a great chance of actually going 5-0 and today. Uh, so far, hasn't been the best. Some, some really, really bad beats, actually. I know I talked about it earlier that bad beats, it's kind of an excuse. But really, this weekend, there was a lot of bad beats. House, house is crazy. This house has been insane. But I'm really looking forward to the game tonight. I'm in first place, five to three, seven points. Bro, we got the Bengals plus five and a half. We got the under. We got the under. And then we, we got under 49 and a half. We got Cam Akers to score one touchdown, under 41 and a half, under 41 and a half first downs, and uh, Joe Mixon over 58 and a half yards. I'm not at the house because I'm not going to get threatened and hang out with some low class people, man. You're going to threaten me because you know I'm the best? You're going to threaten me? Threaten me? Come on, man. I, I ain't got time for that, man. I live life. I'm not, I'm, a, I'm not disrespectful. I didn't disrespect anybody in that house. I show love to everybody in that house. And I bring two girls back to the house. And I get, I, 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 come on, man. I did nothing wrong. But it's all good. Listen, I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. I think all your cappers are bums. Everybody in this, everybody in this business are bums. They got no class. They got no respect. They got no class. I'm out. Hey guys, I'm checking in after the first two days of the competition. Unfortunately, I'm on the bottom half of, of the leaderboard, which is fine. 
right? We went 0-3 day one unexpected. We came into this on fire on a 26-4 and run ATS like none of these guys could probably have ever done. And we came in and we dropped the first three games. That was definitely unfortunate. It's a three-day event and that put us at the bottom of the leaderboard. We come into day two, we go three and two, we hit our max bet. That gives us four points. Obviously, we're still on the bottom of the leaderboard, but the top of the leaderboard is only at seven points. Three point differential, we come out, we sweep the board today, and we're, we're right there. We have a potential to win this cap off. It's come out, sweep the board today, and whatever happens, happens. Fucking putting all these these prop bets in is a lot of a lot of pressures on me right now. There's a lot of pressure. My phone's blowing up. I don't even want to look at my phone, man. I got a lot of fucking money on this game. A lot of money. I'm nervous. But we should hit it. Should hit it. Go, go ahead. So after the first drive, we're already leaving the Super Bowl party because we're going to a fucking palace. The best room in here. It's even better than the fucking Super Bowl party. And our room. That's how we fucking do it. <laughs> we roll. Here for the game? Yeah. Yes. And who's your money on? Who do you think is going to win? No one because we don't bet. And we don't really know much about football, but we're here. In we're just here to have fun. Yeah. We're here for the vibe. Vibes, the Super Bowl vibes. So you're not gam um, not gamblers. Not and you're gamblers. Not, not big on the gambling. No. Don't know what teams are playing. <laughs> so unfortunately, my money is on each other. <laughs> I got the Bengals plus five and a half. I got the over 49 and a half. And then I got I got the under 49 and a half. Joe Mixon under 58 and a half yards. Uh, under 41 and a half first downs, and uh, and Cam Akers to score a touchdown. That's what I got, guys. I'm in first place for a fucking reason. I didn't even try. I didn't even fucking try in this cap off. And I'm five and three with seven points, tied with Sally in first place. All right. I'm trying to tell you guys. Everybody hates me. Everybody was talking at the house. They want me out of the competition because there's a reason why. Because I'm the only threat. I'm the biggest threat in this competition. And that's the, that's why they want me out, bro. There's nobody better than me in this business. There's nobody better than Nicky Marino in this business. And I prove it to the world. Like, there's nobody better, man. Like, I don't know what else to tell you guys, man. Like, I prove it every cap off. I'm in top of the, I'm on top. Like, I don't, I don't make excuses that I, that I lose at the buzzer. I don't make excuses about my plays didn't get in. I don't make excuses about minus 110, minus 120, minus 130. Yeah, my really brother, boy, bro. Who's the realest you know? Hey, it's the motherfucker. It's the bookie, bro. The bookie. The tell bookie, who the bookie is. the bookie, bro. Let's go. go hey, boy, bro. so I'm trying to tell you guys, there's a reason why I'm the best in the industry, man. I don't make excuses. about it before the contest we kind of know it we kind of fucking know it i got the camera guy in my face this fucking guy's always in my face he's always in my fucking face this fucking guy what i tell you about getting in my face when i got big money on the fucking game get that fucking camera out of my fucking face i'm not gonna tell you again no. When he wins it, he's gonna talk so much shit. He's gonna talk so much shit because that's all he fucking does. I'm gonna take that belt, 
I'm gonna put over Sally's shoulder, send him back to fucking New York. Hey, if you win the buck, can I at least take it home? Yeah, you got it. All right, perfect. He said I can take it home. I told you guys we're coming home with the buck one way or another. I want to win it. I want to win it. When you don't see the I'm fucking taking it. Let's go. As long as Nicky Marino don't take the bell, I'm good. This is him. Not even here. Not even here. Get this piece up covered. If I lose this this cap off, I think that's su what's supposed to happen. So to be honest with you, this is these guys have everything to lose against me. If I place, whoever places underneath me, what's that say about their business? That's why I'm here. I want professional cappers, people selling their plays, to be the best. And if an average Joe can step into this house and compete with this guy, these guys, that, that says a lot. I'm saying that they are manipulated in certain ways. That earlier play where the guy missed the extra point, it was a perfectly clear snap. He just dropped it to kill the first half over. And now that one point would have been a big difference. And the line was minus four in a lot of us. 
I lost competition because I have to do minus 130 line. I would never have took Rams minus three and a half. My clients have money line. So if Rams win, my clients win. So fuck everybody in this competition. I'm the best regardless. I make more money than all these guys. That's it. Seriously. Put that in the documentary. Four down. Yo, but, yo, they, they have to fucking go for it. No. I, got, I gave all my clients Rams money line. That's the most important thing right now. My clients want their fucking money. Rams money line. Let's go. Why would they run what he says. I say the best in the business is my boy TJ Raff, but yo, get his clients that fucking Rams money line. Rams money line, dude. Rams money line. Fuck these cappers. Fuck all of it. I'm the best in the industry, and y'all know it. Take a shot on camera. I know you won't do it. Take a shot on camera. I know you won't do it. Come on. Take a shot on camera. Let's fucking go! Let's go! Oh, I'm gonna stay! Oh, dude! And exactly, exactly by three. Exactly by three, choreographed. Hey, you know what? I was expecting a better game. I mean, I said Rams are gonna win by three all by all week. I had to take a minus three and a half because of the rules that were set in place in this tournament. But I would never give my clients a minus three and a half. I would always take money line. You never take small favorite spread. You never take small favorite spread. So it is what it is. These guys need this tournament more than I do. It's all good. I'm still the best. We all know it. I make more money than all these guys. If they want to play big bank, take little banks. I'll take all their banks right now. Like pull your bank statements up. So it doesn't matter. They can have it. They need it. Take the bell. Ten dollar bell. Your language. I still win four grand. Rams money line. I don't win the competition. I lose by one yard, man, through Stanford over 284, he had 283. I had Odell Beckham over yards, he gets hurt, or else he would have blew it. He had five more yards to go. I had three and a half Rams, they missed a fucking extra point. But at the end of the day, I'm bringing the belt to Mickey Marino, the bookie killer, the bookie killer 19. I'm on my way, brother, to bring you the belt and bring the belt to the fucking train team. Let's fucking go! I didn't get one fucking point because I was playing chess with your fucking ass. Because I was playing chess with your fucking ass. Okay? I would have never took it over. I was like, he's taking it over. So I gotta play chess with this counselor and it cost me a fucking belt. My clients have one point in this fucking contest. What do I do here? I got five bands on me. Money line. Run and take the money line and I took the fucking money. And, and I took an under. And I took and an under. And he never takes an under. I took an under the Super Bowl. Let's go get him. talk in this business, but you know what? When you fucking produce, you get belts, and you defeat the best. And I defeated the best this weekend. And there's nobody on my level. And there was two on the top. And it's me and fucking Shelly. Let's go! Guys, listen. Sally's my guy, man. And I hope you recognize real this weekend. People say I quit. Quit? I quit my place or in. He didn't even slap I, was the the I was the biggest Ooh. threat in this whole competition. They didn't even want me to show up. I showed up last minute. 
Hey, cameraman, roll the fucking film. Roll the film. Roll the fucking film. Roll the fucking film. Because camera. you know who the best is in the world. And it's Nicky Marino, baby. I love all you guys. Listen, guys. I quit because I left and went home. Let me tell you something. My plays were in. Five and three. Hit both my match plays going into Saturday. I wake up Sunday and I said, I got I gotta come up with five fucking plays today, which is the hardest thing to do. Nobody can come up with five plays. Five plays gotta be the hardest thing for any sports fucking handicapper to do. But I did it and I came in through. Four and one. There's nobody better than me. And I did it. People can hate all they want. But there's nobody better than Nikki, the GOAT, Nikki Marino. You guys watching this? The best in the business. He's got the cameraman on him. I got people hating on me. Why they hate on They can hate all they want. Why they hate Why They say this, they say that. What they say, Nikki? They hate. What they say, Nikki? Because they don't have the belt. They don't have the belt, baby. And you know what? I worked my ass off for this. I didn't even have to fucking try. The seven best handicappers in the world? And I go on a bender and I still win? <laughs> Imagine if I was sober the whole fucking weekend. Imagine if I was sober the whole weekend and I actually did, I actually did my fucking homework. Come on, man. I'm picking winners. Listen, I'm one of the best in the industry. He's one of the best guys. And there's only one guy I respect. Now, who do you respect, Dicky? Well, there's two. Okay. Sally Pitts always been real with me. That's why I'm sending the belt home with him. What are you For saying? a train show. <laughs> because For the train love show. You. He said it to the train show. He's going to oh, It's going to be the Marino and Sally Picks train show. What you going to do, brother? And the only other. What you going to do? It's only one other. The train train there's only one, only one other guy I respect in the, in the cap off. I sell winners. Because he's got class, he's got respect, That's right. and he's half a time. That's right. <laughs> and he was right there with me the whole fucking time. And he told you day one. There's one guy I there's one guy I'm worried about. And it's Nicky Marino, baby. The fucking killer. Call me a junkie, call me this now. I'm an alcoholic. It is what it is. I lived a lifestyle. But at the end of the day, you can say whatever you want. You wanna know why? Because this ain't the first cap off I won. Number fucking two. And I'll take number three any day of the week. And any handicapper in the fucking world that wants to step to my level, I'll take you on and I'll run the brooms right by you. Let's fucking go. Hey, Nicky. I'm the best in the world. How can we follow you? How can we find you online? Follow me at the Book of Killer 19. Follow me on Twitter. It's Nicky Marino. Pull up in Vegas, I do a meet and greet with you, and you'll have the best time of your fucking life. I'm not fake. I'm the realest motherfucker you'll meet in your life. Everybody has everybody has black, black circles, but I'm gonna tell you right now. I keep it 100, day in, day out.
Let's go. Party's over. What a drag.